All right, everybody, today we're with a Fitbit, which battery died, so we're gonna have to replace it. So we have to replace the battery. You have to take off this piece right there. And by taking off that piece, that's gonna expose it all to the battery. All right, the first thing you wanna do is push this down and lift this off. Push, just push, all you gotta do is just push, push in and then lift off. So. They come in, they snap, they push down, they come right off. This is pretty grimy, so we might want to go ahead and just, you know, clean it as we go a little bit. The first thing they say is you got to get and do a razor blade right under there. So I'm just going to try to put my fingernail in there just to see how, how rigid it is. Okay, let's see if I can do it on this side. Okay. They say to use a razor blade, but I'm kind of not ready for the razor blade just yet. So I'm just going to see if I can snap this off. Just in the corners. Now, when you do this, you don't want to go too far in. You're just trying to break some of the adhesive that's that usually holds these things together. So I found that if you come into the corners like this, you kind of pop that off a little bit and it gives you your edge. Okay. So you see how that gets in there right there? So I finally got some separation. Uh, between there you go there I got some separation there there's been a lot of dirt in the grind so they say to slowly take this off because the motherboard is attached to it okay and there we go we finally got our first access point so that is the digital screen underneath it. These are clips. So it kind of clips in. And then it also has this rubber sealant right around it. But there's no adhesive to it. But these LCD screens are very delicate. You can't push. You can't put anything on it or else they'll be damaged. So you want to be very careful with how you lift this adhesive up are very delicate all right this is the most difficult part of anything so we're going to try to see if we can kind of get our nail in there and just kind of slowly just lift off okay it's actually it's actually coming off so that's a good thing because those lcd screens are very delicate okay you can hear the adhesive coming off So let me see if I can kind of get in there and show you guys again. So what you're trying to do is lift the LCD screen off, but it's attached to some uh, adhesive. So we're slowly just trying to use our, our, our fingernails. Sometimes with fingernails, you can kind of get the tension a little bit better than you would uh, a device. Okay, so now this is, we're gonna peel this off. Okay, we got it. Okay, that should have given us the, and there we go. We have lift off. Now there's a little screw under there so now we're going to have to expose that screw. Let's see if... And we're slowly taking the screw off. Okay. Now that we got this off, you want to, it's going to be able to wiggle out. So what you want to do is you slowly want to just push it down because there's like two little ridges that kind of slides into place. So you want to kind of just 
push it down. Try not to use pull it from the LCD screen, but you kind of want to just slowly just pull it down. There we go. Okay. Now we want to. Now we're going to see what's underneath this. All right. So here's the the, the replacement battery that we're going to use. Uh, so it was ordered, it kind of fits in there, and we're going to use these terminals to kind of strap it together. But before we can put this battery on, you kind of have to take, take this battery off and also uh, desolder it. So now they say if you can kind of just wedge, there you go, and it all popped out. Now, there, that's where the adhesive is going to go back on there, but you can kind of tell it's got a little adhesive there. So now we have the battery, and now we have to kind of desolder those pieces right there. One of the things that was suggested is to make these wires um, equal length. Now, I don't know if I'm comfortable making the wires the equal length because if I mess up, um, you know, so what I might try to do is um, not do that. Because if I mess up, I'd rather have a chance to go back and and do it again. So All right, there we go. All right, now we're going to add some tape, which is the adhesive to keep it all together and keep it tight. Okay, now you're going to push these down a little bit. Okay, after you do the adhesive, don't attach it because you have to put the screw in next. So this is a mistake.
do have a couple more things to do. And all we got to do is put the straps back on. Now all we got to do is test it. There we go. And one more thing, when you initially turn this on for the first time after you put in the battery, you might have to just charge it. So I had a little difficulty charging it. So I went ahead and just, it didn't turn on. I had to put the charger on it so that way it gave enough juice to turn it on. And that was the only other thing. So if you replace the battery and it doesn't turn on, make sure that you charge it. All right, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my video.